Hi, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to discuss our vector reels. As you can see, quite a few variations. Let's get to it. This is basically the first reel we made. It's made out of 30% glass full nylon, very strong, durable, has a drag knot, handle to wind, and a line guard. This original one had, in fact, the one before this one had much smaller stainless steel washers in it. These, if a guy shot a game fish, would overheat and melt the components. To prevent that, we went to larger washers. You can see this one is the about the third generation with branding. And these were less likely to melt. We've since improved on this model by making quite a few changes. The changes we made were quite numerous. Number one, you'll see the shape in the middle is hexagonal. That now has a stainless steel washer behind it and that is a fiber washer together with an o-ring together with a different shaped drag nut there's a second washer and drag nut the reason for this was to enable us to get our fingers to the drag nut quicker we also as you see reduced the size of the handle this is to prevent line being entrapped on it in comparison to the older version. It is more likely to have snagged there, which can be dangerous. So the newer one, as you see, lower profile. The red colors is to be able to differentiate them from the old. The new fiber system allows you much finer adjustment. With the older version, if you had the drag on tight and a large fish was running while the reel was spinning, it was very difficult to get your fingers in to slack off the drag. This shaped elliptical shape wasn't as good as what we've come up with now. As you can see, your fingers can get to the drag nut much easier while the reel is spinning. We also changed materials. No one will actually see it. The top version is 30 degree glass, which allows the top, of, the top spool to flex more. The lower spool and the holding bracket is all 60% glass filled nylon. This allows for a much stronger fitment to the gun. And the gun now also has stoppers to prevent this being pulled too far forward. In brake testing, we're now able to double the forces required to break out the spool. One of the many questions asked was, can we make a bigger reel? Our feeling was a larger reel with more line just made the gun much more difficult to control and it was better to have a belt reel. So for those few occasions you needed extra line, there was a belt reel that you could clip onto the gun and double the amount of line required. This is, as you see, same as the first reel we made. Has a loop to hook onto the back of the gun. The best is to keep the drag very slight so it wouldn't unspool, and then you controlled it once you let the gun go. Very easy to attach to a belt. Elasticated bungee. Thread it through the belt, clip it on. Belt reels are now also available in the new drag nut system along with the lower profile winding handle. Much easier to control than before. The standard reel, this takes 60 meters is also now available in a smaller version that will take 40 meters. Um, also available with the new handle and drag nut. When fitting line to the spool, there is a hole inside the top part of the reel. Thread the line through that. 
do not tie straight to it. That small loop is not strong enough to support the line. Take the line around the spool and knot it on this side. That small eye in the inside is purely to stop the line from twisting whilst you're starting to wind. As you can see, that's now connected. The moment you wind, it locks up onto the spindle. It is a good idea to always use a muzzle eye to feed the real line through. If you don't, and the gun gets rotated through 180 degrees, the reel will then pull backwards and come off its housing. Not a good idea and uh, you can lose your reel and a good fish. The belt reel is very easy to fit to the belt. Whilst you're wearing the belt, it's easy to clip on and clip off. It also has holes on the top to grip with your fingers and or to clip a float onto it if you need to release the belt reel. If by chance you shoot a fish very close up in a cave, there is a possibility you can get a muzzle wrap. It's obviously not a good idea to try and drag everything out the cave and haul off for the surface. It's quite easy to drop the gun, grab the reel line and let it unspool and you head for the surface and peeling off the line off the reel. Much safer than uh, trying to force the fish out and uh, potentially have a blackout.